In the 11th centuries, public libraries in Europe were non-existent, while Moorish Spain could boast of more than 70, including one in Cordova that housed hundreds of thousands of books. We do want to make this clear, that we say this not to bash Europe or any other continent for that matter, but we do want to give an accurate account of the accomplishments of the Moors. And we do recognize also that the Moors definitely have a reputation of not being the most upstanding of people. However, the accomplishments that they made cannot be taken away. The following is a brief list of some of the other accomplishments that the Moors brought to Europe. The Moors introduced many new crops including the orange, lemon, peach, apricot, fig, sugarcane, dates, ginger, and pomegranates as well as cotton, silk, and rice which remain some of Spain's main products today. The Moorish rulers lived in stupendous palaces while the monarchs of Germany, France, and England dwelt in big barns with no windows and no chimneys and with only a hole in the roof for the exit of smoke. The Moors introduced paper to Europe and Arabic numerals, which replaced the Roman system. Prior to that, the Romans counted using alphabets and not numbers. At its height, Cordoba, the heart of the Moorish territory of Spain, was the most modern city in Europe. The streets were well paved with raised sidewalks for pedestrians. During the night, 10 miles of streets were well illuminated by lamps. This was hundreds of years before there were any paved streets in Paris or a street lamp in London. Cordoba had 900 public baths. And you must remember, this was the time before homes had bathtubs and baths. We are told that a poor Moor would go without food rather than soap. All of the information that we say in this video, and all other videos for that matter, can be easily researched. We ask that you please do not take our word for anything, but to do your own research and draw your own conclusions. We thank you for listening as always.